Hello again, Ross James, lead consultant for thehonestcarpenter.com. In the previous video, I talked about the scenario of if you're planning a project, that's the time to do a consultation. Um, this video is about uh, the second scenario, the second of three scenarios, and that is in the middle of a project, something comes up and the homeowner's not uncomfortable or, or not comfortable with what's going on and they want to get an opinion uh, of, of whether this work is being done right or not. And this client in North Carolina um, had contracted with someone he knew to have some windows replaced in his home and he showed me some examples of, that the homeowner did, examples of work he had done, uh, trim work and so on, and did beautiful work. So he was, he, he understood tolerances and things like that. And, and what he showed me is that he had had six windows that were already being worked on and, and were actually set in the openings. And he sent me pictures and it was obvious that the tolerances, the, the, the window was a certain distance from the, from the face of the drywall in the, on one side of the window and a different on the other side. So, that, so the window was canted or tilted side, side to side. And that's the kind of thing that's just not acceptable when it, it's, it's bad enough if you don't know anything about about doing the work and you do it and that that ends up that's part of the learning process well that's not when you're paying someone for work you can expect th those should be equal on each side it, you know definitely within a sixteenth of an inch or something and the other thing is that the, the one of the windows they basically all the windows they tore the entire window out um, and so they they were back to framing well replacement windows don't work that way. You take out basically the, the mostly they're double hung windows. So you take the sashes out and the tracks on the side that the sashes run up and down in and so on. And you pull those out and the windows made to order to fit just slightly smaller than that, fit in that opening and you fasten it and caulk it and so on and, and you're done. Well, in this case, they had torn everything out and we're installing replacement windows in rough opening not trimmed openings and so he he had six done and, and just knew that it didn't look right one of the one of the windows they left the window sill on but all the rest of the windows they didn't and so it was obvious that they didn't know what they were doing and I don't know about the contractor did the person just sends someone to send a crew out who knew very little or what, I don't know, but it, it was all wrong. And basically he, he called a halt to the thing, set up the consultation and we talked and um, I, I basically re recommended stop right now. He said, he said, you know, it could have been, it could have been worse. It would have been better maybe if he had done a consultation before any of this started but I may not even have, have thought about someone actually tearing the whole window up. You know, it might not even have come up. So, but basically, he, he had 33 windows in the house, and so this was the first six. And so at least we caught it early, and he didn't have 36, 33 windows in his house done wrong and so on. And so, so I recommended, look, you've got to stop everything and talk to the contractor and ask them what's going on and, and that you're holding the job until this is repaired. And, and based upon our conversation, the, the client talked to the contractor and the contractor said he was going to make it right. And so that's the ideal, that's the ideal ending for stories like this is that the, that, that hey, something happened, things weren't done the way they should have been, but that's going to go fixed, going to be fixed. And, and that's, um, in a bad situation, that's turning it around and, and, and we hope ending up with a good situation. And so anyway, 
thought it was an interesting one, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Ross James, HonestCarpenter.com.